Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation, homebrew news, and much, much more. It feels great to be talking about PlayStation again. Well, anyways, welcome to the episode today. Today is going to be all about Gold Hen version 2.4 B17.3 is out right now. There was also a new Stage 2 release that Sistro provided for everybody. So let's go ahead and jump straight into what's included in the new features. Now, the very first thing that was added here was support for 9.60. A lot of people don't want to update past 9.60 because of PS3. I don't blame them. But here you will be able to go ahead and start using those 9.60 machines again. Now, of course, since they're on 9.60, that does mean they need to use the newer method of PP Pawn. The next thing that we can see that was added in here was improved inloader server support. And basically what that means is, is that there is the PlayStation 4 Scene Collective. And there's a number of different payloads in here. So things such as, you know, app to USB, a kernel dumper, a pup decryptor, and so forth. And really what is being stated here is, is that those payloads should work right now. So there was also improved clog server. So it's great for debugging. Typically developers are going to be using that versus an end user. And it says right here, network. Disconnection is supported. That's changes in state of your network. And then the last one here was changed network servers configuration to declarative. Now, obviously, you can come right over here and just go ahead and download this, and you'll get your gold hen dot bin, and then put that on a USB drive or however you load that on your PlayStation 4 and you can start enjoying all of these great features right now. Now, right alongside of this beta release also came the Gold Hen Stage 2 version 1.02. The notes for this Gold Hen version is, is this loader only supports payloads with the kernel entry point. And then there is these instructions, which were in here before, but... What is new now is the supported version. So obviously 9.00 and then 9.60, which is obviously brand new to this beta 3 right here. And then we have the other firmware versions that we know and love. But there is a bit of a sneak peek here, and it says that the next versions are firmware 10.50, and then it is to be determined. So it's pretty interesting to, you know, scroll back down into these instructions. and You don't really see that being mentioned anywhere. But if you look here, then it does show that the next version is going to be 10.50. So obviously the stage two has to be fixed. And then the gold hen dot bin has to uh, match up as well. If you do like Sistro's work, um, feel free to contribute to them. I personally contribute to them. And really, with that being said, I just want to thank you all for watching the channel. Hopefully, you got a little something out of this. And I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!